Today it's Tuesday, October. October all the time. What the? <laughs> Can I see you, Mr. Derek? Okay, I'm not recording. No worries. <laughs> Why you play with masking tape? <laughs> okay, October 22nd, 2024. It's a G63 uh, model year 2020. Just a second. It is here. 2020, all right, with wakey wakey 61256, 61,256 kilometers. Checkup, all right. Now, um, it's low mileage, most probably came here for service and no normal checkup. The guys they have make a health report here electronic ignition lock control unit stored, 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 stored. Nice, nice. When you have a stored fault, it's nice. You just clear it and you see what comes back. Stored, stored, stored. The out of the central locking motor has a malfunction. There is an open circuit, left front door control unit. Well, you can see about that. <coughs> and oh, it's also this one. The inner connection will not be okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine, 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 fine. You can get this health report. One, two, three, four, YF, and has a the fire extinguisher, the pipe over there. Yeah, it has. All right, it's a checkup. Let's grab the light outside. External looks nice and decent. Yep, looks okay. Now this one, this. Does it make sound? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. You can't tell me. Right? Yeah, alright. Now, uh, can you please make up the car? Is it okay? Uh, legs? Yes, it's in place. Yes, it is in place. Motor, yeah. Not... Alright, it's not touching. Lovely. Nice, right, make it up. Upper arm bushes. Has low mileage to have any problem, but I'm taking it. Just in case, you never know. Will that slider missing a clip here? All right, missing one clip over there. Wow! Yeah, a cable tight there, and it's rubbing the tire. It was okay, 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 okay. All right. Now tire, 24th week of 2023. Outside. There you go. Cup in place, bolts in place, brake pad, yep, plenty of meat, it looks okay, looks fine, yep, looks okay. We are left, alright, fine, fine, ah, the clip is here on this one, it's not missing, like the front one, alright. Outside, cup in place, 24 week of 2023, looks okay, rim looks fine, other than, yeah, this, all right, cosmetic, you're gonna tell me, yep, bolts all in place, brake pad, yep, nice, plenty of material on the brake pad, yep, let's go to the other side, rear right, That's not here. What there was cleaning it, and uh, let's take it away. This one, yeah, this clip it's in place. Oh, come on now. This is how they wipe it, probably. It was from the rug, probably. Clips all in place now. Tire. 24 week of 2023 looks okay outside tire it's okay it's fine and this one is here it's supposed to be here because we're gonna be tricky to check the tire pressure just saying they miss it here oh it's open another one hole and put another valve here 
bolts all are in place rim looks okay brake pad yep like the other one like the other side let's go to the front right front right yeah, it's touching a little bit here the wheel the tire clips and bolts in place this clip it's in place I'll check that later, not now. Ah, from here it's missing completely. The carbon fiber piece. It doesn't have. <whistles> Alright. Plastic cap in place outside here. 24 week of 23, all five bolts in place. Rim and tire looks decent. Brake pad, same like the other side. Fine, fine, fine. Then, let me see something. This is something. This is correct. All right. That's what I'm saying about the clip that's missing. No problem. We have a clip. We're gonna put one. And on this one, it's fine. So on the rear right, it's not been aligned properly. And on the front right, it's missing completely. Uh, can you please make it full up? We have some leak here. Okay. Let's go from back. Let's start from back. What? What do we have here? We have a screw. Oh boy. Yep, we do have a screw here. Let's start from back. Charcoal canister in place, the pipes are inside. Bumper back here. This here. Ah, no, it doesn't have nothing here. Okay, all right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Because the attachment point is here. Well, gonna make sense, make sense to make one bracket to support it on this. To bolt one bracket on this and then put a clip here or bolt like that. no this bolt with a nut what they have done yeah I'm, I'm me personally gonna do it with different way but that's me yeah you can fix a bracket like I said all right nice and clean back over here here what they have done why they have drilled the boot over here, they have put the cables, they have dressed it with electrical tape. Oh boy. And you see here some cables. Oh boy. Oh boy. Take a look where they have put it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. Rear right. Tire. From inside. I don't see any cracks or something. The rim looks nice and decent. Inner brake pad like the outer one. The brake rotor looks okay. Looks fresh. Nice and clean. No any leak. Here, right. Bosses looks okay. Here, why? Why they make this nonsense and they're putting the leg here and they bent everything? Put it on the chassis. They have fixed here the exhaust. How many days there was welding here to do such a thing? Yay! Never mind. Cosmetic, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Rear left. Rear left tire. Other than the screw that has here. Inside looks okay. Rim. I don't see any problem with the rim. Nope. In a brake pad, looks nice, fine. We are okay. We are okay here. Very low mileage to suffer from the uh, bushes and these things. Yep, yeah, looks nice. Look good. Look good. Okay. The link it's in place there. We see some other cables over there. Okay. Fuel tank looks nice and dry. I don't smell petrol anywhere. Nice, lovely. Fine, fine, fine. Now it sits a little bit low.
the transmission mount sits a little bit low. Okay, has a crease inside. When it was a week ago, it came one car that the front, the front uh, drive shaft didn't have a grease at all inside. It was com Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. This is looking good. Yep, looking good from front. No cracks. Nice. Okay, front left. Tire from inside, no cracks, nice and clean, rim the same thing, here on the brake pads, why the fuck they don't remove the sticker, why they're installing it like that, you have to remove the sticker, <sighs> yeah, nice and clean, brake pads, same to the outer one, nice, alright, Front, right. Here, ah, here it does have a sticker. Nice. They remove it. Sensor is in place. It's not broken. Nice. Brake, but same like the outer one. Now, tire. Looks okay. Rim looks fine. Nothing to worry about it. Around here, yeah, more wiring, and this is what. All right, never mind, never mind. Do not touch it. <laughs> Belts. <clears throat> ah. No, it looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, from inside as well. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any problem here front. Oh, it's looking good. Front diff. Bosses are okay. Let's see also this boss here. Yep, no crack. Nice. And then there is another one here. Lovely. Engine mount. It sits a little bit low, but it's not critical. It's not now the time, and from this side, yeah, the left one is a little bit more low than the right one. Yeah, that's how it looks like. It's been compressed a little bit more. Cinder head back looks nice and dry. Same thing from this side. So here, from where the hill it's leaking here. We see the starter that has, it's wet, and the wiring. Starter, it's wet and it's leaking down here but not from back here the cylinder head is nice and dry so what the hell it's leaking now there let's open the cup is it leaking from inside can you please bring the nose pliers to open the cup Let's put the light there. Let's support the light over there. And open this rubber cap. Is it leaking the cranks of rear seal? Yep, has an oil inside. You see that, share? Okay, take it to go to wash it. Once you want to put any plate. So, most probably the leak you can tell me why they are on the starter because there is no gasket on the starter so if it's leaking from there from the cranks of rear seal this and engine oil all these things and all this here it comes you see the wiring you see the starter that's wet and then when you're opening the cup you see oil also inside of the bell housing it makes sense come from the cranks of rear seal because like I said this is definitely an engine oil it's not transmission oil yes. yep it smells like an engine oil it looks like an engine oil it feels like an engine oil one second to clean my hands and I came here to clean my hands on the rug and I see the spark plug 
there was some water there inside and the spark plug has seen some better days. Yeah, yeah. Advice, don't wash the engine. Dry clean it, dry wash it. Not with a... Don't, don't spray water on the engine. Let me get the pry bar, crowbar, have a look. It's gonna be fine, but just in case. And then let's make it down. Ah, that's also the cover. There was missing bolts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bushes are excellent. There is no problem with the bushes. Cooler is fine. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. Full down, please. Eh? All right, now from map, what we have? We don't have the air filters. Need to open to see one air filter, the condition, okay? Need to check the AC filter over there. Here you block because of the spark plug, the other spark plug put by again. You touch the air filters, that's the same thing, no? Because this one looks loose. And it is loose, actually. It looks loose and it is loose, yay. That's not the first time, we have seen that before. Lovely. And uh, yeah, 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 don't, don't, don't breathe it. Let me have a look there. Who's the turn is fine. Uh, okay, yeah, put by again, put by again. Let's see the coolant has a pressure inside. Nope, it doesn't have a pressure. Nice. You put? Yes. It was too much low? Yeah, if it was too much low, you have to make a leak, a leak test. You don't, uh, we, we don't put, uh, we don't top up the coolant. Because it might have a leak. And it's pointless. For the intercooler, yep, yeah, looks okay. We have also one fuse over there and some more wiring. All right, now let's take this out. Yep, it doesn't matter actually. Overall, looks okay. Other than it, it looks like it has a leak from the. What in here they have done here? How many cables they have passed? No, I don't wanna know. Don't want to know how many cables they pass. Leave it there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Leave it there. Never mind. Never mind. So, what do we have? Continue the checkup. One uh, air filter out. All right. Preferably get this one out because already lose the club over there. Check the battery. Okay. It looks like it came for maintenance here and came for the crankshaft rear seal, probably. Okay. Fine. Now to see exactly from where it's leaking, it makes sense to remove the transmission and see behind the uh, to see the crankshaft rear seal if it's leaking or not. Because from the oil pump down, it does looks like it's leaking. If it was not wet, the starter, then it makes sense to check the oil pan. But as soon as the starter is wet, it comes from inside. Fair enough. Anything else? Where is Omar? Let's ask Omar if he wants something else from me. Okay. Mr. Omar, it yeah. looks like that's leaking from the crankshaft rear seal. Okay. Because the starter also, it's also wet. Yeah. And when we opened the cap, there was an oil inside. All right. Uh, the rest will be maintenance, probably. Mr. Z, he told me that he top up the coolant. Okay. So you need to make a leak test. leak test to see if it's leaking from anywhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair enough. That's it. You need me something more than this? No, it's okay. All right. So yeah. Yeah, but 
this okay yeah it is like this that's it for now over and out that's the first part we can see there is another one